Cork play with the sweeper and they play with Mark Coleman sitting off Keane Lynch, obviously, and then, you know, Jerm Ellerick sitting back as a centre-back. Like, I'm not sure if, if centre-back is Jerm Ellerick's position. Do you know, does he play there for his club? Um, you know, is he a midfielder coming back trying to just fill a gap or fill a hole? Um, personally, I would go, you know, man for man, you know, on Keane Lynch. I'd, I'd pick someone to, to man-mark him, whether he goes to midfield, half-forward, centre-forward, corner-forward, full-forward. I'd pick one man to follow him for the day. And I suppose, you know, if you have someone sitting back in the pocket who's not actually picked centre back, you know, is Jerry Mellerick's mind and, is, you know, is his game solely on Mark and Keane Lynch? Or is he kind of, you know, is there a part of him thinking that he has to keep an eye on his man in the middle of the field as well? Or does he have to do a little bit more hurling? And if that happens, it allows Keane Lynch to get into these pockets and get into this space. But if you just go with someone that's, like the likes of Niall, Niall O'Leary, the cornerback, um, he is a savage, savage man marker. Do you know, like, again, is he someone that could play centre back? I, I'm not so sure. But for me, I think Keane Lynch is the go to man for Limerick. And you have to pick one man to pick Keane Lynch up no matter where he goes. Living his, live his shorts for the 70 minutes and just concentrate on marking Keane Lynch. Just forget about the rest of your game, but just on, you know, knowing where Keane Lynch is at all times because. If Keane Lynch gets into this game on Sunday, um, Cork are going to be under serious, serious pressure because he just makes everything click for Limerick.